As we cross the one-year mark in the coronavirus pandemic, a move that provides more access to the vaccines designed to protect us. Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves taking to social media today, saying on Tuesday, vaccine appointments will be available and open to all Mississippians. The very first doses of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine arrived in the state back in December and went to frontline health care workers and nursing home residents. Over the last few months, access was expanded to gradually lower age groups, people with chronic health conditions, and teachers and first responders. Dr. Mark Horn with the Mississippi State Medical Association is excited about the expansion. It's wonderful that we now have enough supply of vaccine to adequately open up to everybody. Now that everyone is eligible, there are some people who may not know how to get their shots. The State Department of Health has a vaccine scheduling website. You can see the address on your screen. There'll be a few yes or no medical questions. After the questions, you choose the county where you want to get your shot, and then you choose an available date and time. You can also make an appointment using the vaccine hotline you see on your screen. Dr. Horn says the expansion will be a game changer in rural areas and in communities hard hit by the virus. And yes, we've already seen excellent increases in the African-American community, and we are continuing to make certain that no one is left behind. Troy Johnson joins us now live. You know, Troy, a lot of people who've been eligible for the vaccine over the last few weeks and months have really struggled with availability, with finding open, convenient appointments. Looking ahead, how many shots are expected to be available statewide after tomorrow? Well, Megan, the governor tweeted that he expects close to 10,000 appointments will be available over the next three weeks. Now, with three different vaccines in production now, that should mean much easier access for those who want to get their shots and, of course, start to get to the end of this ongoing pandemic.